Now, remember that brave Indianapolis school administrator who went viral for explaining how his district is pushing critical race theory on our children? Well, he revealed this on the Stinchfield show a few weeks ago. I want you to refresh you on that take. We force our teachers to sit through racial equity trainings in which they are told that they are perpetuating in this endless system of systemic racism. And we basically tell the teachers that if they don't follow our district strategic priorities, then they're not doing their part for the Indianapolis communities. Well, that teacher has now been placed on leave, locked out of his email accounts because he is apparently causing other staff members anxiety. You heard that correct. Now, there are school districts all across this country continuing to cover up the fact that they are indoctrinating our children, and yet their lies are becoming more and more exposed. And in Fort Worth school districts where they deny teaching critical race theory, documents and videos prove that that school district has indeed included the key tenets of CRT into its teacher training and practices, even giving employees a class on the introduction of critical race theory. Take a watch. We internally believe that white is supreme and it requires a constant process of ridding ourselves of this colonized mentality. Colonized mentality. Joining me now to discuss the founder of PragerU, Dennis Prager. Dennis, thank you so much for joining us. Look, I've often told people that it's completely dishonest uh, to have people running around here intelligent enough to know the origins of CRT, and yet at the same time are probably stupid enough not to recognize that the scholarship of Derek Bell is not what brought the parents to the teachers' conference. What brought the parents to the teacher conference were teachers telling them that little Timmy was apparently an oppressor by virtue of the DNA running through his blood. That's why I think, by the way, we're making a mistake by calling all of this CRT because the left then says, oh, we, we don't teach CRT. No, they just teach pure, undiluted racism. And that's all it should be called. They should, they should note, that is, we should note, they are teaching racism, uh, that there is an inherent difference in a black human being because of his or her color. The only people who support, as I've so often said, black dormitories or black graduations like at Columbia University, which I attended, are the Ku Klux Klan and the left. So it, it's, it's way larger than CRT. That this man has been suspended and his account suspended in Fort Worth, Indiana, gives you an idea of how ubiquitous this pure left-wing hate is around the country. The Absolutely. perversion of little kids' minds. It, it doesn't matter where it is. It, it, people think it's only New York, LA, Chicago. It's everywhere. Absolutely. It's really crazy. And when you actually break it down, I said, look, CRT has become a culturally accepted colloquial catch-all, uh, similar to the Kleenox, Kleenex or Xerox, right? Xerox is not, That's you right. can't say, oh my <laughs> goodness, it's, the, we don't have Xerox machines here. Yeah, but you have copy machines. Oh, we don't have Kleenex here. Yes, but right. you do CRT, have tissue. That's, good. that's right? a good point. Yeah, and it's, so like, it's I a think trademark. It's a trademark, yeah. right? But it's not the actual issue. And the issue is that people don't want to live in a world where we're telling little black children that the only way that they can succeed in life is that the white kid on the jungle gym with them has to get out of the way. Uh, that is inherently what George W. Bush called the soft bigotry of low expectations. It, it goes against everything that we always used to tell people, which is that racism is taught and not inherited. And yet here we are teaching effectively racism by other means to the children we say we want to rid the world of it from. It's hard to imagine kids being exposed to this and then easily relating to the other race. Right. Right. Things were so much better 10 years ago. The, the, I, I'm Timmy, I'm black, and you're Timmy and you're white. And that, for most kids in most schools, that was the way it is. Where I live in Southern California, it was common to see mixed race groups of kids, you know, just socializing. But now, oh, wait a minute, you're different. I was taught by my sick a teacher, by my race preoccupied, obsessed teacher, that you are different from me. This is, this hasn't been done since Jim Crow. 
it, it's really crazy. And I think if you actually break it down, because what the left always tries to do is pivot and then say that parents don't want children being taught the truth about American history. And I always <laughs> say, look, Parents have mm -hmm. no problem with people being told that in the history of America, things have happened to people that never should have happened. What parents don't want to have happen is to have their children come home feeling as if they are personally responsible for fixing all of the racial ills of a society that has been 200 and 300 years in the making. Uh, that is not a recipe for success. That is the blueprint for us actually to returning to the vestiges of racism that we never want to ever see again in society. Uh, correct me if I'm I'm wrong, but that's how I look at it. I'm sure you have a similar view. Well, this line, we don't want the truth told, is a projection. Uh, as I have said all of my life, and I have uh, studied the left since uh, I, my field was communism at Columbia, and uh, truth is not a left-wing value. So for the, for the left to start all of a sudden speaking about truth uh, is like... Uh, is like illiterates talking to you about Shakespeare. But I'll give you a perfect example. What school in the United States of America has taught its kids that three million blacks have moved to the United States in the last few decades, uh, two million from Africa and one million from the Caribbean? I, I would, I would uh, be shocked if there is a single school in the United States that has taught a fairly fundamental truth Blacks know around the world this is the land of equality and opportunity. It is only the white left and the black left in America that lie about this country. Absolutely. I think I had a teacher in college who was a major in Sovietology. Obviously, you studying communism. Uh, those two things have not been lived through by a certain generation, have not been taught in our schools the way That's they right. were lived through by your generation. And as a result, history finds itself doomed to repeat itself because we have not learned from those cruel, cruel, cruel implementations of, quote unquote, sure. utopian idealism. Dennis Prager, as always, my friend, God bless you. We'll talk to you again. And soon, hope you have a blessed thir turkey day with your, with your family. You too. Thank you. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.